Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, at the point when the presidential elections are over and the electoral votes are tallied, the Roys are constrained to act as the kingmakers in the eighth episode of season four. Roman and Shiv are attempting to get an advantage for their candidates, so Tom is feeling the squeeze to create an outstanding news report of the political race results. The decision is ultimately surrendered to Kendall, and assuming you're pondering who Waster supports, here is all that you want to be familiar with the consummation of Succession Season 4, Episode 8. The initial scene of the eighth episode titled America Decides, shows Tom and Greg preparing for the political decision polls broadcast. Tom is uneasy, and a call from Kendall puts much more pressure on him to give intensive coverage of the political decision race's closing stages. Greg tells Tom about his night out with Matson and his gang as the journalism staff examines the coverage. Nonetheless, Greg is unclear about what to do since he has prevailed upon Lucas Matson's favor. The Democratic candidate for president, Daniel Jimmins, is as of now ahead in the vote count, according to Leave surveys. Schiff and Roman quarrel about Jimmins and Jared Mankin, as they'd back either candidate as a result. Later, Schiff tells Matson in a private conversation that Jimmins is in the lead, which is advantageous for them since he is not prone to obstruct Gojo's acquisition of Waste or Royko. Matson admits that he had spoken with Greg. Schiff continues to communicate with Nate Sofrelli as she works to advance her cause of Jimmins. Kendall talks to Jimminess and calls Nate. He makes vain attempts to get Jimmins to assist him in keeping Matson from attempting to acquire Waystar. Therefore, Menken's triumph in the political race is Kendall's best wager, because it will ensure that the agreement will be impeded. At the point when Menken and Roman first meet, Menken declares his desire to work with Roman, regardless of whether he loses the political decision this time around. Schiff and Roman soon start making connections to make sure that their candidate receives the most media possible. Tom starts to feel the pressure and starts coordinating Greg in other places. Later, he makes Greg do cocaine with him. As polls close nationwide, Connor Roy realizes he has far to go prior to winning the political decision. As a result, Connor works with Roman to attempt to accept the ambassadorial position Menken offers him. Tom manages a technical issue when ballots for Wisconsin elections disappear because of a fire. Tom's unfortunate leadership causes mayhem in the newsroom. Schiff later tries to make amends with Tom. Schiff says she's pregnant, however Tom thinks it's just another justification for her behavior. Schiff and Roman have a disagreement on the events in Wisconsin. Schiff thinks the uncertain votes should be counted, whereas Roman thinks Menken should be declared the state's victor. After much liberation, Roman declares Menken's triumph despite Schiff's good faith, giving him a slim lead in the close political decision contest. Meanwhile, Connor also backs Menken, getting the latter additional traction in the contest. On the off chance that Greg tells her brothers about her relationship with Matson, Schiff vows to destroy him. Menken is leading, so Roman tries to persuade Kendall to declare the political decision champ or risk losing Menken's support. And supercharged coverage of a tight political race battle is featured in the episode. In any case, after declaring Wisconsin a triumph for Menken, the news organization's believability is in jeopardy. Kendall is feeling the squeeze to deliver the decision because the political race will ultimately be chosen just barely. However, he is hesitant to support Menken because of his fascist perspective. In any case, supporting Jimenez does not guarantee that the sale of Waystar to Gojo would be stopped. Thus, Kendall is in a tough spot and asks Shiv for guidance regarding the decisive action. Schiff sees it as a chance to persuade Kendall to support Jimenez and make sure he does so. Later, Shiv pretends to speak with Jimenez over the telephone to reassure Kendall that he will hinder the deal. Schiff's lies are revealed when Kendall calls Nate for confirmation. Greg confirms to Kendall that Schiff has been coordinating with Matson to make sure the deal closes. Kendall makes the decision to back Menken as a result, and he calls in the final decision, declaring Menken the new president of the U.S. Kendall worries that he has struck a pack with Satan. Shub reaches her lowest point and teams up with Matson to destroy her brothers. Tom is scrutinized meanwhile for declaring an early champ in the political race and for his generally contentious coverage of the polls. Despite ATN schemes and Menken being named the following president, the episode closes without a clear triumph. On the surface, apparently Schiff Kanan last in the biggest power race the nation has at any point seen 
with Kendall and Roman getting what they desired. Then again, Kendall appears hesitant to make business decisions and will almost certainly want Roman's assistance in the event that he wishes to keep his position as chief of Waystar. The fight for control inside the Roy family is profoundly affected by the political clash, and the episode finishes with the distinction being made among Roman and Kendall and Shiv and Matson. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.